Hi guys, it is January 28, 2015. Wow, Seattle to find residents for throwing food in the garbage. The EPA is coming out with laws to force people to throw away their garbage correctly under the umbrella of climate change to reduce greenhouse gases. This climate change agenda has become so out of control. <laughs> You know, if people don't fight this back, we are going to be living in a society where every step you take will be surveilled and regulated. You will not have a choice at all <laughs> in your lives. It is getting scary. In an attempt to shame residents of their city, a new Seattle law will levy a fine on homes that do not properly sort food out of their garbage. I, I can't believe what I'm reading. Emblazoned with a red citation tag. That's right, the scarlet letter on your garbage, on your, your garbage bins. Violators will start to be fined anywhere from $1 to $50 in July. But now they're just publicly shamed by the scarlet letter-like tags. I'm sure neighbors are going to see the, these on their other neighbors' cans, said Rodney Watkins, Watkins, a lead driver for Recology Cleanscapes, a waste contractor for the city. He's on the front lines of enforcing these rules. The tags are part of what the city calls a public education campaign. We already have a nanny state. We already have people in communities, these neighborhood watch groups going around and actually calling the authorities if, if, if their neighbor's grass is too long or if they have a dog off a leash or it's insane what is happening to our society and I so wish Americans could see what is happening so that they could begin to pull this back. Listen to this. This is in an NPR, NPR, that liberal progressive radio station that gets all of its funding from its listeners, that they don't understand that it's so, they get millions and millions and millions of dollars from the government, from George Soros, okay. But in an interview with NPR, Watkins details how he goes about enforcing the draconian statute. You can see all the oranges and coffee grounds, he says, raising one lid. All that makes great compost. You can put that in your compost bin and buy it back next year in a bag and put it in your garden. What if people don't want to compost? What if some people don't want to have gardens? This is forcing everybody to obey with the climate change, the lunacy of the climate change rules and regulations, that it's only going to be increasing. It is only going to be increasing. The ultimate goal of the law is to boost composting while reducing greenhouse gases. Reducing greenhouse gases. And yet you have people uh, who are actually being arrested because they have gardens on their land because it happens to be in their front yard. I, these rules and regulations are going to drive people insane, utterly insane. Food waste is both an economic and environmental burden transporting them. Do they ever, ever, ever talk about the incredible agricultural footprint on the environment. The corporate agri agricultural farms, do they ever, ever talk about what they're doing with all of the waste, the toxic waste that is destroying so much land? Do they ever, ever? No, it's all on the individual. It's all, it's all a scam. It's all a lie. It's all about controlling every aspect of your life. Can't people see what is going on? 
So two is allowing it to sit out in the open where it produces methane, one of the most harmful greenhouse gases as it rots, the second largest component of landfills in the United States is organic waste, and landfills are the single largest source, source of uh, methane gas. The EPA has already begun a campaign to achieve laws similar to Seattle's. The outstanding question remains, what purview is it of government to act as people's trash nanny? Do you know that garbage collectors have been trained by the Department of Homeland Security to spy on you? Now they're going to be sticking the scarlet letter-like tags on your garbage bins to shame you. Even if you don't want to compost, now you're going to be forced to? Are you kidding me? Let me know what you think about this, guys, but it is getting really, really dangerously insane.